So I put together a fun little project. What I wanted to do was use Laravel 8 with Inertia, Fortify, and Beautify as the front end framework. Okay, so let's see. Um, we have authentication here. Like I said, it's with Fortify. So you can go register. And uh, this is our registration field. And as you can see, there's validation on all the fields. Okay, and the same is with the login page. So if we go ahead and fill in everything, okay, we re register. Okay, and now you see, welcome to your dashboard, now Montgomery. We have a brand new page. Uh, you can see the route up here, the URL. Then we have home. We can go back to that home page and we can go to our dashboard page. And now we also have log out. Okay, super simple. I just wanted to see how Beautify worked. So let's get started. The first thing I want to do is spin up a Laravel app. So Laravel new, and we'll call this one V underscore I underscore F underscore L. And that's for Beautify, Inertia, Fortify, and Laravel. Very simple. Press enter, and it's just going to be a basic installation. Now that that's done, we can go ahead and CD into the project. So, CD, and after that, we will open up our code editor. Now I just want to open up the .env file and set up our uh, basic env stuff. It's not much in here. Um, I just want to put in our app name. I think it's I F L. Let me take a quick look. Yeah. Okay, so that's done. We have our database set up. I have one already. It's V I F L with underscores in between. And this is my username and password. Okay, everything else is done in here. We're, we're not going to need this for anything else. So close out of that. And then I want to open up a terminal and start adding in some of these packages that we're going to need. So we'll make this nice and big. And the first thing that I want to pull in is uh, Laravel UI. And the reason I'm pulling that in is because this is the um, previous way that Laravel um, had its authentic authentication scaffolding. Now, we're not going to be using this. We're going to be using Fortify, but we do need this in order to bring in everything that we need to set up for, you know, as a, as a basic for um, the Beautify package because Beautify works with Vue.js and we're pulling in everything from scratch. So what we want to do is, so this is good for now. They're not going to uh, they're not going to keep updating it, but they are going to maintain it. Um, so that's fine. So the first thing we want to do is just pull it in. Composer requires. So copy, paste, enter. And the next one, it's going to be, we're going to just generate the basic scaffolding. So we are going to need the view one for this. So copy, head back to the text editor. And now that that's done, we can go ahead and enter that one in here. Okay, let that run. Okay, so now the first thing we really do need to do is npm install and npm run dev. So we can just copy that out of here. Copy, paste, and we're going to install all of the node modules. And as you can see, what that will be doing is if we go to our resources and our, see, it's already pulled in a SAS folder, which we're going to need. But it has bootstrap, but we'll fix that in a bit when we get ready to bring in Beautify. Uh, the other thing it does is in the JS folder, if you go to app.js, you'll see it started to fill in our view to our view.js information okay 
And this is important because when uh, we get ready to install Beautify and Inertia and everything, we need to have all this information just sort of um, customized for us already. And then we'll go in there. You know, this is all the default. We'll go in and customize it with everything that we need. And now that that's done, it looks like you would get a big nasty error down here. But it's not. All it says is to please run mix again to make sure that everything is in there. So all we have to do is npm run dev. While that's doing that, I want to head over to the um, package.json so that we can see uh, all of the different things that we just installed. So now that came with the bootstrap, jQuery and stuff, but it also came with uh, the SAS, SAS loader, which we definitely need, the Resolve URL loader, all this stuff we need for Vue to work. And as you can see, it's version 2.5. Okay. Um, now, the other thing I want to do is I want to head down to the webpack.mix.js and make sure that all of our stuff is pulled in. Okay. So we make sure that this is correctly inserted, this dot view, and we have our SAS resources sas app.css folder that we just uh, created. Something I also want to do in here too is I want to put uh, disable notifications and that will keep the Laravel mix from popping up every time it recompiles. Okay, Webpack compiled successfully. Okay, so why don't we go ahead and migrate our database. PHP artisan migrate. And then we'll take a look at the browser. We'll run the server and take a look at the browser to make sure that everything uh, is working okay as far as us being able to see everything on the front end. Okay, so now we'll run PHP Artisan Serve. And then head over to our browser. We can close this. We don't need it anymore. And we'll refresh the page. Okay, so now we have our Laravel app. So let's head back to the text editor and continue uh, adding in what we need. So let's stop the server, control C. And then we'll open this up. And then we can head over to the Laravel documentation and hit the fortify page. Okay, so we'll go ahead and start bringing that in. So we want to head down to installation. Okay, we want to require it. Copy, paste, enter. Okay, now that that's done, we can head back and we can grab the uh, the provider files, the service provider. So copy, because we need to publish them so that we can use it. Okay, now that that's done, we can head back and we can grab the uh, the provider files, the service provider. So copy, because we need to publish them so that we can use it. Okay, press enter. Now that's all of our files published. Okay, so let's head back to the documentation and now we can migrate. I don't want to migrate just yet just because uh, we're also going to be pulling in Sanctum. Okay, so let's head down to continue this on. We need to go to the config, the fortify config, and add these features or make sure that they're set. So uh, config fortify. And we need to head down to the bottom where all of those features are. Now all we're going to be using here is the registration so we can comment these out. Okay and we can close this and then we can also close this. Okay so let's see what the next thing is. So disabling views. We're not going to disable the views because we need the routes for um, the back end. If you open up the terminal and you do PHP artisan um, route list, press enter. Okay, you see we get a 
big messy list, so let's fix that so we can see it a little bit better. Uh, we'll run the same command, but at the end of it we'll put hyphen hyphen compact. Enter. Okay, so now you see we have API user, login, uh, we already have these pages, these routes that we need, the auth routes. Okay, so now we can go back to the documentation and I think that's pretty much it. Let's just take a quick look. Yeah, that's we're done in here. So let's go ahead and start installing Sanctum. So installation. And we're going to be using the um, the same way that Jetstream sets it up is with API tokens. So that's what we're going to be using to set this up. So API tokens. Or we have to go to installation first. Uh, okay, so composer require copy paste. Okay, now that that's done, we can go back to the documentation and continue on. We need to pu publish the vendor files. So copy, paste, enter. And now we can run php artisan migrate. Okay, now that that's done, let's go back and you see with these migrations, the uh, Laravel Sanctum migrations, we also got the access tokens in here and the two-factor, which we're not going to be using, but we have them anyway. Uh, so back to the documentation and we don't need that. Don't need that. Nope, nope. Okay, we need to put this trait in our user model. So copy. And then we'll go to our uh, user model. And we'll add it right here. As API tokens, and we'll import that as well. So import class. Now, I think that's it in the documentation, but let me take a quick look because all of this stuff really does it on its own. Uh, first party, we're not doing that. Uh, auth Sanctum it should already be set up, but let's check our web route file. So web routes. Okay, so they're not. So let's go ahead and grab this real quick. Um, where is it? This one. Copy. Paste. Okay, so now that we have that set up, um, we need to import this. Import class. And it's the HTTP request. Okay, so now that that's up top, good to go. Now we can go ahead and start pulling in inertia. So let's go back to the browser. We can close this one up because we're done in here. Now we only have inertia and a few other things. So, um, and I'll leave all the links for these pages on the uh, in the description uh, for all these different tools that we're bringing in. So the first thing we want to do is go to the server side installation. Okay, and we're using Laravel, so we want to install the dependencies. So compose a require. Enter. Close this out. Open that up so we can see it. And now that that's done, let's go back to the documentation and continue on. Okay, so we first need to make sure that these are in our app.blade.php and we also need inertia, this inertia link. So let's head over to that. If we go to our view files, we only have the welcome. Okay, so what we can do is for now, we'll just open up a new one and we'll say uh, app blade.php dot 
and this way we have a fresh one so we'll just HTML5 okay so now we have a quick scaffold first we want to put in our uh, styles so I like to give it a little header just to uh, label it out okay so in here we'll put styles okay and then we'll add a link CSS so that it has style sheet and then what we're going to be using is mix so we'll change this to um, curly break it brackets mix then it's CSS and that's the folder and if you're not familiar with what I'm doing if you take a look in our resources CSS folder uh, that's where this stuff is coming from okay um, the next thing I want to do is uh, just copy and paste this bring it down and then we'll call this one scripts okay so this will be for our JavaScript stuff uh, so it'll be style oh I'm sorry it'll be script okay and the source equals and then we'll do the same thing so curly brackets and then it'll be mix js app.js and uh, because we're putting it in the header and not at the end we need to put um, we need to put defer here and what that'll do is it'll just it, it'll when it's read in the browser it'll read this at the end of the file like you should normally be doing it but we're not doing it that way we're gonna do it this way okay and then in the body we'll add at inertia okay so that's good for now uh, let's head back to the documentation and by default the Laravel adapter will use the app.blade we've already done that and the middleware we do need this so we'll copy this and we'll paste it here press enter and we'll let that run okay back to the documentation so we need to put this in our kernel file and this is the HTTP kernel file app HTTP kernel so we'll copy this this is going under web so we'll look for that file kernel HTTP then we head down to the web which is right here and we'll make sure to put this at the bottom okay so paste okay let's see what else we got this middleware provides a version blah 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 yada yada and this is how we will be using it in our pages okay so now the next thing we need to do is bring in the client side version of this this is the front end Vue.js part of it okay so we'll be using Vue 2 so we'll just install so copy paste enter okay we head back to the documentation and now we need to initialize so we need to put this stuff in our app.js file so copy uh, we can close out most of these now uh, so it's the app.js in the resources folder okay and why don't we just well we're not going to be using this uh, and we're not going to be we can get rid of these notations and let's go up and grab those and get rid of those as well okay so now we can go ahead and just paste that in here 
Okay, so what this is doing is it's just importing the plugin from Inertia View. It's importing View. Um, it's using the app, which will be in our Inertia in the uh, in this this page right here. That's where this is coming in from. Okay, um, and then it's rendering View with the props that we need in it. So why don't we go ahead and compile this and see? Well, let's take a look at the documentation. Make sure there's nothing left. Progress indicator, we don't need that. Code splitting, nope, nope, nope. Okay, I think that's it from here. Let's head back into the text editor. First, let's run php artisan serve to whip up our server. We'll open up another one and we'll call npm run watch. So now in our web route, we also need to change this, um, this welcome page. So instead of doing this, we can just return inertia render, and then uh, we are going to be rendering welcome. Let's import that. Okay, go up and take a look, and there it is. So let's head back to the um, JS folder. If we go back to app.js, okay, you see that it's looking for a pages folder. So what we need to do is in the JS folder, we need to add a new folder. We'll do it like this. We'll say pages, so that'll be the new folder. And then the page in it is going to be welcome.view. And that's what we just put in the route. Okay, so now Webpack stopped screaming at me, so let's go ahead and check that. So now we see nothing. But it's a good start. That's because welcome doesn't have anything in it. So let's say HTML or template. h1 and then we'll say welcome and then we'll also add our script tags so java script okay so now let's go back and take a look refresh there it is fantastic let's take a look at this inertia and see if there's anything left i think we are done with that uh that one's done too so code splitting Okay, that's fine. Now we can close this. One more thing we need to get um, inertia working properly is to install Ziggy. Now what Ziggy does is it helps us uh, use Laravel roots from the back end to the front end. Um, and that's really important. That's something that we want to do. And this makes it just super easy so that we can keep it as a is a single page application like it's super smooth there's no refreshing so how we do that is we require it to so copy and we'll open up another terminal we'll go ahead and paste that in here enter okay let's go back to the documentation while that's doing that so this is how we want to use it um you will we'll be able to use it with parameters everything I, I like Ziggy. I like it in uh, Inertia too. Uh, so let's go down, go down, go down. And this gives you all the different ways of um, using the current. And this is good for when you want to highlight a page that you're on, like an active link or something like that. That's what current is used for. We'll be using that in this app too. Uh, so we'll go down, go down, go down. And what we need is Okay, you can also install it with um, create a, J a JSON file for it, but we don't need to do that because we're using Laravel. Uh, Laravel is going to take care of that. Okay, and it says here to use the route helper and view components, you can add a mix in to make it globally available. Okay, one thing we do need to do first is put in the uh, app.blade.php. We also need to add above the um, 
above the well it doesn't matter it could be above or below but we need to add at at routes this way the window can pick up the routes that we're passing in okay so now let's head back to app.js and we'll head back to the documentation and we need to add a mix in for um for this to work so this is the mix in we need to put in so copy and we can put it right above here paste so now the final last thing that we need to put out is we'll go back to two terminals and i want to shut this one down because it's going to get real noisy once i start to do the next thing so we can close out ziggy because that's done and the last thing we have is installation now you want to make sure that you are running one of these 2.4 or something like that beautify because the current version of Beautify does not support Vue 3 yet, and we're using Vue 2 anyway, so it doesn't really matter. Um, but that's that's worth noting. It's not ready for Vue 3 yet. Okay, so we need the Webpack install. So we're going to first npm install Beautify. So copy. And we'll paste it in this one. And now that that's done, we can go back to the browser and also in well no we've already installed this stuff uh so we're good here but we do need to import so what we want to do is we already have uh this one so we can grab this one because we're not going to need all of this um and we'll put that under this import view Okay, and then we need to pull in this new Beautify down here. Uh, new Beautify, okay? So we'll pull it in like this. We go to the new view render. Right above the render, we'll add Beautify. New Beautify. Parentheses curly brackets and the theme that I want to use will be uh, dark and this is where you would put your um, your options the different things that you want to use uh, to, to customize the layout and stuff like that or the, the special defaults that you want to make global Okay, the other thing that we also need to do is in the app.css, in, in the SAS folder, app.css, okay, let's go back to the browser and we'll grab the, let's see where it is, we'll grab this import and we'll just fix it in the page. Okay, so we can get rid of this, because we're not going to be using that. We'll paste this. First we'll say, beautify. And then we have to add hat. And then we need a squirrely line, tilde, I think it's called. Okay, try it again. Beautify, dist, beautify, min CSS. Let's go ahead and restart our npm run watch so it can all compile down. So also let's go back to the app.js and make sure we got everything. Uh, let's see. Yeah, these are the options. We're not going to be using all those, um, but we did it our own way in here. We also need to add uh, another use so that Vue can use it properly. So view use beautify okay so let's go back to beautify and we can start testing out these uh, components if you look on the left this is a list of all the components it has um, you've got badges banners navigation forms everything if you've used bootstrap before it's very similar okay um, 
Let's see, what can we try? If we head over to, uh, let's see, I think it's under features. Yeah, maybe we'll try layouts. Okay, to, to see if this is working, okay, these are the components for Beautify. Let's try one of these. So copy, and then we'll put it in our welcome page. We can get rid of this, and now add it. Okay, let's just see if let's just see if this works. So we'll go back to our browser. We'll refresh. Now you can see we have a whole layout and hello world. Okay, and if you open up the dev tools and you take a look at some of these classes in here, you see V main, V main wrap. Okay, these are all beautify classes. Okay, these are the components that are coming in. Okay, so I think I'm gonna leave it there for now. Uh, I was trying to do everything in one part, but this took longer than I thought. So what I'm gonna do is in the next part, we are gonna start um, building out these pages and we're also going to work on um, hooking up our navigation our authentication and stuff like that okay so thanks for watching guys I will see you next time and I will push what we've done today up to github okay thanks again